I'm Joey. I'm Jason. And this is Metal Monster Review. Review. Today we're going to sit here and discuss Halloween 2018. Just to get us into the Halloween time frame. We have Halloween 2018 here. Means that the new one is coming out here next month. Which I'm excited to see. I kind of dig this whole new trilogy. What do you think? Well, I, I, I like it too. Like, the, out of so far the two they released... I like I like I really like this one. And I tell you what, the first time I saw this, I was just I was okay with it. You know what I mean? I'm like, ah, it's cool. But the more I watch it, the more I've really developed uh, an appreciation for it. I mean, it's really like grown on me. And you mentioned to me earlier, this is one of your favorite Halloween movies. Yeah, out of, out of all the Halloweens, this is my the first. Originally, Halloween, the original 1978 Halloween was my favorite one. But this one, I don't, I just like it so much. It, it's just my favorite Halloween movie. And one thing that I've noticed, uh, as we were just talking about a little bit ago, each time that you watch this, you pick up on something you never noticed before. Yeah. Uh, you, were, you were telling me that earlier about all the little Easter eggs in there. I didn't even notice half uh, the stuff you were telling me. Where they're out, the kids are out trick or treating, and Michael's on the street, and they're wearing silver shamrock masks. You know what I mean? So you see the pumpkin, the witch, and the, and the skeleton. Um, wife mentioned to me while we were rewatching this, it's like they were talking about the the new physician there who's attending and looking after Michael Myers. I uh, was talking about how Judith Myers, when she was stabbed, the knife scraped her spine. And if you look on the column of his, on his pen, he actually has like a, a vertebral column there. So he has a spinal cord on his pen there, which later becomes used as a knife, which I thought was a pretty cool thing because that was something I totally overlooked. If you're familiar with all the other Halloween, with the Halloween franchise, the reason this one sticks out to me because I think they did Michael justice. The mask looks amazing. Yeah, and you can tell it's, it's aged. It's aged. I mean, because this this is a, this this one ignores every Halloween except the original Halloween, and so this is forty years later. So Michael's old now, and the mask is all de de like the mask fits him. It it does. And you see all the wrinkles in the mask, and the and there's pieces of hair missing in the mask, like it's balding. And this the, the guy they got portraying Michael, his body movements, it's. It's almost like the original. Yes. As a matter of fact, Nick Castle, who played Michael Myers in the original, actually does play some scenes yeah. as Michael in this one. But now that we're sitting here discussing everything that we like about this movie, let's take a moment and discuss the plot of it. Basically, what you got going on here is this. 40 years later, after the original Halloween, you have two groups of journalists here who are working on their own podcast, doing their own investigation, who are just obsessed with this whole case. Um try to approach Michael Myers at the uh, Smith's Grove Institution there and they get the mask from the DA's office. Well, they want to hunt down Lori Strode, who's played by Jamie Lee Curtis, who did an awesome fucking job. I love how her character is this. Her mind is fried from the traumatic events that happened 40 years earlier. So she's living in the, in the woods in this complete, high security place. She's a complete badass. She is a complete badass, without a doubt. She is a one-woman wrecking crew. And and I won't tell you too much about it if you haven't seen this, but I thought she did an awesome job as this. So they approach her, offer her money, talk about, you know, her experience of what happened. And they offer her some money. She tells them this, that, and the other, and pretty much takes off. Well, she's she knows that Michael is supposed to leave the institution and get transferred to another institution on all nights of all nights, Halloween night. Bus crashes, Michael escapes, and it starts all well, over again. Well, before you go on, one thing that puzzled me a little bit, Michael committed these crimes. Well, first he killed his sister in, in the what, early 60s. Yes, yes. And then he, when he escaped the first time, he, he killed five people in 1978. And then most of them were teenagers. And you think he would have got the goddamn death penalty. <laughs> well, hey, it all depends where you're at, you know what I mean? I mean but, I think uh, back in the electric chair was still there. I mean, you think they would have... Ted Bundy got electrocuted. Yes, he did, without a doubt. So, 
Michael stayed in this mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, if they give him the electric chair, we wouldn't have a movie to oh, talk yeah. about. <laughs> you know, we'd be sitting there, hey, remember that movie where he killed those five people and they gave him the electric chair? <laughs> And then 40 years later, they tried to do a sequel and it didn't work. You know what I mean? That that would be today's topic. I just ruined the review. Yeah, that's it. We're done. Call quits. This is it. Hope you enjoyed this. This is our last one. Now we pulled logic into it. But anywho. But no, you do have a valid point there. You know what I mean? Because I often wanted to see like horror films the day after. You know, imagine Jaws, you know, when Chief Brody gets home. Hey! Where's Quint? <laughs> <laughs> or like Fright Night, you know what I mean? Look, when you're talking to your homeowner's insurance, let me get this straight. You rented a fucking bulldozer and drove it into your house to kill a vampire? <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess, you know what I mean? Shit happens. Shit, shit does happen to the best of us. That could be a good one, a good topic. Horror movies the day after. <laughs> <laughs> Bride of Frankenstein. Wait, there was a self-destruct lever just right there with no safety mechanism? Who the hell designed this? Just saying. But now we're off topic. <laughs> but I did like how you mentioned that with the detail on Michael's mask. And one thing that we really do like about this film is you have to pay attention to it because these Easter eggs will sneak right past you. If you see the scene at the gas station... You can see Michael walking in the background, and you see that he assaults the mechanic and kills the mechanic and takes the overalls that is part of his legendary ensemble. Uh, you mentioned that. I mentioned the silver shamrock masks. And also, too, different portrayals, like certain kills in this movie have uh, paid homage to the original movie itself. When the babysitter's boyfriend is impaled on the wall with a knife. Well, that happened in the original. You know what I mean? Which I thought was a, a pretty cool effect. What are some of your favorite scenes out of this movie? I think my favorite scene is when the baby, the little boy tells her, the baby started to close the closet door, and she walks up, and she's like, the door won't close, and she oh, opens yeah. it, and boom, he's standing right there. That, that was a cool scene. You know what I mean? It's like there's someone in the closet. Oh, the hell. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, I like that. My favorite scene, actually, was right after they had the big Halloween party. And their, their kids are all drunk up walking home after the party. And they take a shortcut and go through somebody's yard. Well, Lori Strode's granddaughter is pissed off at her friend, so she leaves. And he's he had too much to drink at the party, sitting in the yard. And the motion light comes on and there's Michael Myers and he mentions, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Elrod. I'm just passing through. I'll get out of here. And I love how he mentioned Mr. Elrod because that was a character from Halloween too that they made reference to. So another little hidden Easter egg. And then the lights go out and then the motion light comes back on and Michael's closer. And this kid's looking, well, I said I was leaving. Next thing you know, he comes up and has the knife and just stabs the kid and he starts chasing. I love that. And that was such a cool scene. And that's one thing that um, I thought was real original. Because I thought, wow, that's such a, a cool scene. And for this iconic slasher villain, I figured that that's like a perfect scene for him. You know what I mean? You couldn't throw Freddy Krueger into that and make it work as well. I like that because Michael Myers is just this silent assassin. You know what I mean? That's it. Speaking of silence, go back to the beginning of the movie when the podcasters, they want to try to get Michael to talk. And he pulls the mask. There's, he, the whole time they're trying to get him to talk, he, Michael's just standing there with his back towards him, just staring. And then they pull the mask out. They say that he showed nothing, but when he pulls that mask out, I could see Michael. Like, he sensed it. He's like something in his face, like. Did a little head thing. He sensed that mask, but he still didn't say. He still didn't say a word. No, I noticed that because he kind of like noticed, like he felt the presence of it. And another cool thing is they did add some detail here because if you see his eyes a little jacked up from, yeah. of course, from the original. You know, like I consider that a little Easter egg too. If you're if you if you've seen Halloween one, you're a notice because he got stabbed in the eye with a coat hanger. Yes, and all this builds up to the the end battle with Lori and Michael, and I think it's totally awesome. 
it was just a really well done fight scene and it's like you've seen this in the original and then here we go years later you have an well, round two three whatever because i figured halloween h2o would be it that was me i remember seeing that in the theaters and then here we are you know when halloween 2018 came out that was 20 years after h2o so here we are halloween 40 you know what i mean now, 40 years later I'm but gonna, i'm not going to spoil the ending but there was one little scene it was like lori was like actually being Michael when she comes out of the darkness. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking I about. I thought that was cool. I was like, that's really what he does. Yes. So there's a lot of great kill scenes in this movie. Um, it, it's creepy, it's spooky, and it's everything that you would hope for in a Halloween sequel. So, Jason, do you have anything else you'd like to add about uh, add about Halloween 2018? Just give it a chance. I, I, I hear lots of people that hate it. People love it, hate it, but personally, I enjoyed it. And if, if you're a fan of the original, like a big fan, you, you'll you'll catch all these little things. I, I'm gonna have to go watch it again because I, I I was watching. I caught a, a bunch of what he was talking about, but there was a lot I didn't. Now I wonder if there's even more in there. Oh, I'm sure there's probably things that I haven't noticed. Like I said, when I first watched it, I'm like, hey, this is all right, but. And then the, more, the second time I watched it, I'm like, wow, I really dig this. Each time I watch it, I dig it more and more. So I would say for sure, check it out. Don't let all the other Halloween movies deter you from it, like Halloween Resurrection. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh Christ. All right. Yeah, we ain't even getting into that. We're just sticking <laughs> with, the, with, with this one here. So I'm Joey. I'm Jason. And this is Metal Monster Review. Review.